training video has been produced by Semka in collaboration with PSSC and CNK. This video is aligned with the job role Industrial Electrician PSS Oblique Q1705, NOS Core PSS Oblique N1710. We are now going to know about the different parts of the transformer and to learn the step by step procedure to perform testing and maintenance of the transformer. Here we will know about transformer. The transformer can be defined as a static device that helps in the transformation of electric power in one circuit to electric power of the same frequency in another circuit. The voltage can be raised or lowered in a circuit with a proportional increase or decrease of the current ratings. Transformers are present in both transmission and distribution. For transmission, power transformers use. For the distribution of power in domestic, commercial and industrial establishments, distribution transformers are used. In brief, those transformers installed at the sending or receiving point of long and high voltage transmission lines are the power transformers, mostly step up. On the other hand, distribution transformers generally pole mounted are those installed nearby the load terminals, city and villages to provide utilization voltage at the consumer terminal mostly step down. Distribution transformer you are seeing capacity is 5 MVA. Primary side that is HV winding voltage rating is 33 kV and secondary side that is LV winding voltage rating is 11 kV. Cooling type of transformer is oil natural, air natural ONAN. The vector group is DYN11 which means LV side leading from HV by 30 degree. Now we will see different parts of the transformer. Now you are seeing the primary side terminal of the transformer which is 33 kilo voltage level. The cable connected with the primary side terminal is 3 core, 240 square millimeters. Now you are seeing OLTC. With the help of OLTC we can change the tap of the transformer in load condition. In this transformer there is 9 step. The normal step is in 3. Here we can decrease or increase the tap manually and from a remote location. Manually, we can change steps with the help of the handle. As you are seeing, a normal tap is set at 3. Now we are reducing the tap to 2. Now we are raising the tap from 2 to 3. Now you are seeing the main transformer oil tank, in which oil is filled with transformer core and winding. For cooling and insulation of winding, we are using mineral oil. The main tank of this transformer can store 3,700 liter oil. Now you are seeing a radiator. It is used to dissipate the heat from natural air. The radiator is connected with the main tank. You are seeing a pipe on the top of the radiator which is connected with the radiator and the transformer main tank through the flange from where hot oil comes to the radiator. You are seeing a pipe on the bottom of the radiator which is connected with the radiator and the transformer main tank through the flange from where cool oil goes through the transformer main tank. Now you are seeing a secondary side of the transformer which is at 11 kilo voltage level connected with distribution panel through 3 core 300 square millimeters cable which is 11 kV voltage level. Now we will see different types of earthing used for transformers. Equipment earthing that is body earthing marked with green color. System earthing that is neutral grounding marked with black color. We have made body earthing at transformer tank and at the terminal box. Now you can see the marshalling box of the transformer. All the control cables from the panel are connected here. You can see the winding temperature indicator WTI, alarm set at 85 degrees centigrade and tripping set at 95 degrees centigrade. Oil temperature indicator OTI, alarm set at 80 degrees centigrade and tripping set at 90 degrees centigrade. Now you can see conservator tank which is divided into two parts. Conservator part you are seeing used for OLTC, oil level indicator showing all level of OLTC conservator tank. Now you are seeing current transformer connected with transformer neutral, used for earth fault protection. Now you are seeing air release valve connected at the top of the transformer, used for release of trapped air during transformer oil filtration. Now you are seeing thermometer fixed at the thermometer pocket, used for physical verification of transformer oil temperature. Now we are seeing buck holes relay connected between transformer main tank pipe connected with conservator tank. We have to ensure that buck holes relay arrow direction 
should be towards conservator tank side. During the fall condition, temperature of the oil increases or some gas formation happens, which will travel towards conservator tank direction. Connected Buckholz relay will sense the severity of fault and will give command for alarm or trip through their NONC contacts. Now you're seeing explosion vent, which is connected on the top of the transformer body through the pipe. During the high level of fault, explosion vent breaks and give power to high pressure oil to come out from transformer by this way. It prevents the transformer from blasting. Now we are seeing pressure release valve connected at OLTC tank. During the fault condition inside the OLTC tank, when pressure of oil increased from permissible limit, in that condition, pressure release valve operate and through their NONC contact, give alarm signal. Now you are seeing buck holes relay connected in between the pipe, connected between OLTC main tank and OLTC conservator tank. Now you're seeing magnetic oil gauge, MOG, connected with main tank conservator, used to indicate conservator tank oil level, which connected with the main tank. In MOG float valve is not directly connected with the meter. It is connected with the magnet for indication of value. At this time, you're seeing oil level is more than half in conservator tank. Now you are seeing breather connected with conservator tank through the pipe. Inside the breather silica gel is filled. When the oil heated up then it acquires more volume. In that condition some of the air need to go out of the conservator which will go out through breather. Same way when our transformer oil cool down then its volume will decrease. Now the balance space to be filled up with the moisture free air. In that case environment air will travel through the breather to conservator. Present silica gel will absorb the moisture and will provide moisture-free air in conservator tank. You can see oil pocket filled with oil which is attached below part of breather, used to collect the dust from the air. Therefore, always ensure that oil pocket should be filled with oil. Now we are seeing breather connected with OLTC tank conservator. It is used for the same purpose as used in breather connected with main tank conservator tank. Size of OLTC conservator tank breather is less because of OLTC tank oil capacity is less than main tank. Now we will see step by step process to check the transformers insulation resistance HV to LV, LV to earth and HV to earth. For insulation resistance checking we are going to open HV side and LV side cable terminal cover. Now cover of 33 kV side terminal open. Before start the mega. We are going to discharge the cable terminal with the help of earth discharge rod. First we are going to connect the earth clamp with the earth strip point. Now we are touching discharge rod with each face terminal. Now we can check the insulation resistance. First we will check insulation resistance between HV to earth. For checking HV to earth we are connecting mega red probe with 33 kV side terminal. First we are connecting mega red probe with transformer B face terminal. Now we are connecting mega black probe with earth strip. Now we are going to select 5000 volt DC. After that we are pressing test button mega value coming around 8 giga ohm showing value is good. Same way we will do other phase mega with earth at 33 kilo volt side. Now we are going to check insulation resistance on LV side that is 11 kilo volt side. Before start the testing as LV side winding is in star connection. We are going to remove the neutral link connected to earth. Now neutral link disconnected with earth. Now we are connecting mega red probe with transformer red face, winding terminal and mega black probe with earth strip. We are selecting 5000 volt DC and pressing test button. Mega value coming around 9.79 giga ohm. Showing value is good. Now same way we will do other phase mega with earth on 11 kilo volt side. Now we are going to check insulation resistance between HV to LV side winding that is 33 kV side to 11 kV side winding. We have laid one cable from HV side winding and available near mega for testing. Now we have connected mega red probe with LV side yellow phase winding and mega black probe with HV side yellow phase winding wire. Now we are selecting 5000 volt DC on mega and pressing test button. Mega value coming around 5.6 giga ohm which is a good value. Same way we can check between other phase. For checking one phase to another phase, we have to discharge the voltage. But in this mega automatic discharge facility, available therefore no need to discharge again. 
as you seeing after automatic discharge mega showing zero volt maintenance of transformer there are many different preventative maintenance actions to be performed on a power transformer they can be on a daily monthly yearly quarterly half yearly or yearly basis some transformer maintenance activities only need to be performed once in a 3 to 4 years interval first we will see how to change silica gel from breather first we will remove oil cap from breather oil cap has been removed now we are removing breather connected with flange with nut and bolt now we are removing breather upper cover with the help of torque wrench now upper cover removed now we will collect the old silica gel in bag you can see silica gel color changed from blue to pink or in white and this can be reused once it will be dry in oven now we are filling new silica gel which are blue in color now we have fixed the breather in the pipe now we will fix the oil cap filled with fresh oil in the breather here we have seen different part of transformer and safety device now we will know what to check daily monthly and yearly in transformer on maintenance perspective maintenance and checking on daily basis there are three main things that to be checked on a power transformer daily check at the oil level indicator glass or mog mounted on conservator color of silica gel and breather leakage of oil from any point of a transformer in case of an unsatisfactory oil level in the mog oil has to be filled in the transformer and also the transformer tank has to be checked for oil leakage if there is oil leakage take the required action to plug the leakage if silica gel becomes pinkish or white it should be replaced maintenance of transformer on monthly basis let us first discuss the actions to be taken on a power transformer oil level in the oil cap under a silica gel breather must be checked in a one month interval check at the oil level indicator glass or mog mounted on conservator breathing holes in silica gel breather should also be checked monthly and properly cleaned if required for proper breathing action if the transformer has not been used on lv and mv system the oil level of transformer oil inside the bushing must be visually checked in the oil gauge attached to that bushing action is also to be done monthly if it is required the oil has to be filled in the bushing up to the correct level oil filling has to be done under the shutdown condition maintenance of transformer on half yearly basis the transformer oil must be checked on a half yearly basis that means once in 6 months for dielectric strength water content acidity sludge content flash point transformer maintenance schedule on yearly basis the auto remote manual function of a cooling system that means if transformer installed oil pumps air fans and other items engaged in the cooling system of the transformer along with the control circuit are to be checked on a yearly basis in the case of trouble investigate the control circuit and physical condition of pumps and fans all the bushings of the transformer are to be cleaned by soft cotton cloth yearly during cleaning the bushing should be checked for cracks oil condition of oltcs to be examined every year for that the oil sample has to be taken from the drain wall this collected oil sample must be tested for dielectric strength bdv and moisture content ppm if bdv is low and ppm for the moisture is found high compared to recommended values the oil inside the oltc has to be replaced or filtered mechanical inspection of buck holes relays has to be carried out yearly all marshaling boxes are to be cleaned from inside at least once in a year all illumination and space heaters are to be checked whether they are functioning properly or not if not required maintenance action has to be taken all the terminal connections of control and relay wiring are to be checked at least once in a year all the relays alarms and control switches along with their circuit in rnc panel relay and control panel and rtcc remote tap changer control panel are to be cleaned by appropriate cleaning agents the pockets for oti wti oil temperature indicator and winding temperature indicator on the transformer top cover are to be checked and if required oil has to be replenished the proper function of the pressure release device and buck hose relay must be checked annually for that trip contacts and alarm contacts of the said devices are shorted by a small piece of wire observe whether the concerned relays in the remote panel are properly working or not 
Insulation resistance and polarization index of the transformer must be checked with a battery operated mega of 5 kV range. Resistive value of earth connection must be measured annually with earth resistance meter. The actions to be taken once in two years. The calibration of OTI and WTI must be carried once in two years. Tan and delta measurement of bushings of the transformer also has to be done once in two years.